The budget needs some Democratic support for it to pass, and that's why many teachers say they aren't planning on a pay hike just yet. News on 6's Ashley Izbicki talked to educators from three districts today and has more for us tonight. Ashley. Terry, teachers I talked to say they've had a raise dangled in front of them before, so they're not exactly optimistic. It's no secret Oklahoma has a severe teacher shortage. That's why emergency teacher certifications continue to go up year after year. Teachers say their colleagues are leaving for better paying school districts in nearby states, and while this is a step in the right direction, they say it's just a start. Unfortunately, I think a lot of this is political posturing, uh, but until it's actually, you know, passed, until the legislation's actually done, uh, I don't have a lot of hope. They can do better. We know they can do better. We need long-term funding. Yes, we want to teach a raise, but we need to fund core services because a raise without funding core services, kind of ridiculous. We also got a statement from Broken Arrow Public Schools. The superintendent says in part, quote, we are hopeful that our leadership is moving toward resolution in this budget shortfall. Teacher quality is directly connected to student success and teachers must be paid an income that allows them to take care of their families. Now, the governor did commit to a pay raise for teachers during her state of the state address that was at the start of the legislative session back in fe uh, February. Now, Oklahoma ranks near the bottom of the nation in teacher pay. Ashley is News on 6.